Ms. Sheets, you are here petitioning the court to order the defendant to take a paternity test. Your entire life, you've been led to believe two different men were your father. Yes, Your But Honor. the defendant, Mr. Rhodes, learned of this only two months ago and has always believed he is your father. Yes, Your Honor. That's... Mr. Rhodes, you say a bomb was dropped on you when the plaintiff asked for a paternity test. You stand firmly on the fact that she is your biological daughter and feel there is no need for a DNA test. Yes, Your Honor. In my heart, this is my daughter. I've been with her since she was born, 35 years, and embedded in my heart. So it is up to the court to decide whether or not there is sufficient evidence to order a paternity test. So I want to go to you first, Ms. Sheets. Why do you need the court to grant this test? I know Mr. Rhodes as my father initially, but after the breakup of my parents, she introduced me to Mr. Smith. So after that time, it was a confusion my whole life. And also this, I would like to submit this evidence. There's no, there is no name on this birth certificate. No one's name is on here. So, you grew up thinking Mr. Rhodes was your biological father. Initially, Until yes. your parents split up. Mm -hmm. How old were you then? I was four. We were in Chicago with him and his family. Uh, he went to the military. So, um, okay. we were still there un until the age of four. And after that, they had a disagreement or breakup. As adults do, I understand that. But when we came back to Georgia, I met Mr. Smith. So when you came back to Georgia, you were introduced mm -hmm. by an, a man named Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. And you were Mary told Smith. he was your biological, biological father. father. Now, you submitted to the court a copy of your birth certificate, mm -hmm. uh, your name listed under the child's name, and under father's name, there's no one listed. Mm -hmm. And yet, by the age of four, mm -hmm. you had been introduced to two men yes. and were told that both of them were your father? Or were you told at that time Mr. Smith was your father and Mr. Rhodes wasn't? I or as a four-year-old child, you just thought you had two dads? Right. I never was given a, just a clear definition of, hey, this is your father, this is not. I was told both were. Both were at one time, and I was told, you know, at one time or another, one wasn't and one was. So there was never anything clear. And my mother's unfortunately not here to be with me today and to mm. continue to clear this up. Mr. Smith isn't here also, both of them. So I have Mr. Rhodes. Your mom mm -hmm. and Mr. Smith yes, or have six. passed away. Yes. Mr. Rhodes, so just two months ago, you got word that someone wanted a paternity test because they thought you weren't their biological father and that person was the young woman you have believed to be your daughter for the last 30-something years. Yes, Sean, I did. What did you feel like when you got that call? Oh, I can't even describe it, but I'm confident and I know this my daughter. It's very confusing, but the natural feeling that I have is this my daughter and can't nobody tell me nothing else. So take me to the day you found out that Miss Sheets wanted to have a paternity test. I was surprised, Your Honor, because, uh, you know, we have a relationship, so I'm like, a test? Why? I did so, not you say know. you have a relationship. You've been in her life her entire life. My life, yes. In and out, in and out. But uh, I was always there providing, doing things that she, that she needed done as a child, you know, and it felt natural. And I remember her looking at me like, who are you? And I didn't really pay no attention, but I felt it, that I didn't feel that closeness from her, that she was confused. But I said, no, from my grandmother telling me this is my child, I've been bedded in me. I'm going to love this child and take care of the best I can, regardless of what's going on. Because one day when she's grown, I'll be able to tell her to tell the story and let her know that I loved her since birth. So, did you provide financially? You said yes. throughout the years you were in and out, but you always provided. Yes, Your Honor, I did. Uh, so, wait, let me understand this clearly. You were ordered to pay child support through the court, or you voluntarily paid support? I voluntarily paid support, okay. child support. You know, because my grandmother told me, this is, I seen the child, it's your child, don't give up on her or her mother, provide for him. Because I was in the Marines traveling around, I wasn't there. But when I had a chance to come, I always did, always gave, I always was there, so. 
Ms. Sheath, do you know if Mr. Smith, the other potential father, was also ordered to pay child support or pay yes, child Your support? Honor. He actually paid until I was 18. So both Through these, the court? Yes, Your Honor. Both of these men stood up and both of them said, this is my daughter. I accept the responsibility. Both of them were there. That's what made this more confusing. So Mr. Smith was paying child support through yes. the court and Mr. Rose was voluntarily yes. paying child support. Yes, yes, Your Honor. So throughout your life as you got older, you were a teenager. Mm -hmm. When they would come to visit you and you'd see them, you called both of them dad? I did, yes, Your Honor. I didn't know just how to take this. I didn't know, like, hey, you know, about tests, DNA tests. I didn't know, you know. I just felt like this should have been done when I was younger, you know, by the adults in my life. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm, you know, my age, I have a son now, and I, I just can't let this go on any longer. I have to know who his grandfather is and who my dad is. Because but there had to the... come a time in your life, four years old, you don't know anything. But when you get 13 or mm -hmm. get, you get in school and everybody's got one dad... Yes. You, you started <laughs> to realize, like, well, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Mr. Rhodes, what was the nature of your relationship with her mom? Did you know about any other men? Were you all in a committed relationship? Um, Your Honor, we, I didn't know about any other men. Um, I was in the Marines, so I wasn't there, and I would hear stories about her being with other men, but it didn't bother me because my focus was her. So, uh, I don't know, this is confusing. I'm, I'm mind-boggled about this thing because I loved her mother. So, my thing was to marry her and raise my daughter. You know, I even brought them to Chicago to live with my mom. So, when I came from Okinawa, Japan, we was gonna move to California and get the family to get married and raise my daughter. But before I came home, she had moved out and moved back to Athens. That was very confusing to me after the dreams I had to do with her. So it broke my heart, you know, she took her away. So I didn't see her for years after that, you know? So there wasn't nothing I can do because they sent me to California and I couldn't chase them down or write them down. I couldn't do anything but wait, wait my time out. And by the time I got to her, she was very confused, very distant, very, going, I didn't know she was going through all that. And now- Because you had absolutely no clue the entire clue. time some other man had been ordered by the court to pay child support. And I didn't know nothing about that till two months ago. So, Ms. Sheets, Not did you all. ever ask your mom? I spoke with her, and she just kind of didn't give me a straight answer. I never got a straight answer. I tried to get one a little before her passing and Mr. Smith's passing. We, all three of us sat down together. Really? Yes, and they tried to calculate, you know, uh, the day that I was born and conception and they just couldn't quite get it together and there was no clear answer. So or maybe at that wasn't. point, did your mom honor the fact that there was a paternity question that, that she did not know? Well, they concluded that maybe Mr. Smith wasn't and that Mr. Rhodes was when we all three of us sat down together that day. But my question was, why did he pay child support my entire life until I was 18 if they didn't calculate it then? So, you know, I just, I don't know. It's just very confusing. You know, because Mr. Smith has passed away and it is unfortunate, we do have his son in court and uh, I'd like to hear from him. Ron, will you please escort Mr. Ryden into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Hello, Your Honor. Hello, Mr. Ryden. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, as you well know, we are here discussing the paternity um, question as it relates to Ms. Sheets. This young woman grew up thinking she had two fathers one of which is also your biological father. How long have you known Ms. Sheets? I've actually known Ms. Sheets about 10 years. How did you meet? Um, actually, we met out one night, just out um, partying or whatever in the same place. And I uh, actually ended up meeting her again. When I got with my brother and my dad, I actually Google searched her and found her. And um, I actually went to her house a couple of times and we talked and through life, we lost contact. And uh, after that, I sat down with my dad and I asked him seriously, 
you know, is this my sister? And, you know, he was the kind of guy who, you know, he joked around. He was very animated. But uh, he very firmly and strongly looked me in the eyes and said, yeah, I believe that this is your sister, my daughter. So your father told you that he truly believed this was his biological daughter and this was your sister. Yes, and so that uh, my aunt and my uncles, they all rallied behind him to, you know, proceed with thinking that, you know... And so your whole family said, this is our child, this is our family, we accept her. And Ms. Sheets has informed the court that your father even paid child support. Yes, ma'am. Court-ordered child support until she was 18 years old. And uh, the family and all of us actually went as far as listing Krishana as um, a sister, sibling in the obituary. You did? After my father passed, yes. Is that what you're holding? Yes, ma'am. May I see that, please? Yes, Your Honor. So this is a copy of the passage where you included survivors. Yes, Your Honor. Include children. Karshana Sheets, so you added her there. Yes. And I'm sure my father wanted, wanted her added it on. And so that's what made me believe 100% sure. Well, you two are close in age. Why didn't you meet when you were young? My papa was a rolling stone, as they say. <laughs> okay. And, uh... Said respectfully. I yeah. appreciate that. He had a kids here and kids there and... Okay. Yes. Understood. So, Mr. Rhodes, 35 years, you just didn't know. I didn't know. You could not figure it out. And I always knew a black cloud was over my head with her because I said, this is my daughter. Why can't I go get her and take her to Chicago and raise her? You know, I would come to town to see her, everybody looking at me strange. They would never let me take her to go to the store to get her school clothes. They told me, no, go get them and bring them back. So I was never able to spend time with her because now I know why. I'm, I'm nothing. You know, he had his name on her. If I would have took her and went to Chicago, I would have went to jail. Well, you were not listed on her birth certificate no. as the legal father, and you had not been ordered by the court to pay child support. No, yeah. So you would not have been recognized under oh, the law yeah. as her father. So 35 years of not knowing why people kept you at arm's length. No, I couldn't figure it out, John. I know now. And everything's starting to click now. It's like, you know, for um, the mother to tell her family that I'm, I'm not her father... Of course, that's why they was treating me like they was. Yes, like, why is this stranger coming down here right. to spend time with her, <clears throat> buying our school clothes and mm -hmm. being around? What is up with that? I've been you know? holding this in for all these years. I didn't know how to tell him. He loved me. He showed me so much love and opened his arms to me. So I couldn't tell him. You knew he loved you very much. When you finally just got up the nerve to just tell him, how did you tell him? How did you say it? I just said, hey, Dad, you know, um, I have to tell you something, and I just need to know the truth in this situation, finally. Mr. Smith, I didn't see him as much as I saw Mr. Rhodes. Mr. Rhodes stayed in my face. He stayed holding my hand and there for me. So for the other guy to be legally attached to me, I was more emotionally attached to Mr. Rhodes. As you look at him in the courtroom, and you mm -hmm. can see that it, it just hurts him to mm -hmm. even have to consider the fact that he may not be your biological yes. father. Definitely. Explain to him why you needed to bring him to court and why you need this court to order the test. Please grant me this, Your Honor. I just, I've been going through this my whole life, this confusion. You know, no one has two fathers, but these two men have stood up and took on the responsibility. They never pushed me away, but, you know, only one of them is my true father, and I need to know today. I understand. Well, I think there is clearly enough evidence to order a paternity test here. So the court is going to do just that, and we're going to get some answers that I think you all so desperately need. Yes, sure. So when you leave the court, you are going to go submit to the laboratory testing, and we will reconvene here, and I will have the results for you. Yes, yes Your Honor. Thank Court you. is adjourned. Your Honor. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Sheets versus Rhodes, 
pertaining to whether Mr. Smith or Mr. Rhodes is the father of 35-year-old Karshana Sheets. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Rhodes. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so happy. Oh, man. Thanks, Judge. I hear you saying, Miss Sheets, you so happy. Mm -hmm. It's Just good to, to see you smile. Going. I don't think I saw you smile last time we saw you. Thanks. You feel good? Yeah, I haven't smiled in a long time. Yeah, truly. So I wasn't wrong. <laughs> my heart told me, my grandmother told me, that's your baby, I seen that baby, that's your baby. And that's the reason my unconditional love started and never stopped when she told me that. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> story. <laughs> Mr. Fernandez, you and your former fiance, Ms. Butler, say everything rides on today's DNA results. Now, you claim you found evidence that she cheated and another man may have fathered your little girl, Divine. Now, you called off the wedding, pawned the ring, and lost $300, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Now, you're suing her for that and you've petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove you are not her daughter's father. Yes. Ms. Butler, although you admit to cheating during the window of conception, you say you have no doubt Mr. Fernandez is Divine's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, uh, Mr. Fernandez, why did you pawn the ring? Because I was frustrated, I was angry. I took the ring back and I left. The ring actually cost about $700. I was only given about $354, Your Honor. Do you have a receipt for the ring? I actually don't have a receipt for the ring, but... Before all that, when we first got together, he already had a girlfriend, so he already was a cheater in the beginning. He cheated with... I, I cheated. Why are we yeah. here? We not, I didn't cheat. Okay. Why are we here right now? You did cheat, and that's exactly why I cheated. But he, he already had a girlfriend when we first got together. You know the baby is yours. The baby? You know the baby is yours. Uh -huh. You did cheat. Miss Butler, why did you cheat? Right, why did you because... cheat? Because... Miss Butler. I, oh, I'm, I want to tell you. Okay. One day he come over my house and it, he had a pregnant. The girl was supposed to be pregnant. It was supposed to be his baby, but he comes over. He say he was at the house seeing the baby. He comes to lie. my house That's a lie, Your Honor. and he smell exactly like sex. His whole body. He think you know what I'm saying. Like I come in, I, I kiss him, I smell it. So I start kissing him all over because I'm like, okay, but I really was smelling him. That's what I was doing. So I'm kissing him, kissing him. I smell sex everywhere, all over his body. Okay, I get it. Your yeah. Honor, so, Your Honor, um, <laughs> Your Honor so, I came in from work. Came, you lying. Um, went to try to get some I know sleep. What, I know try what to get some sleep, like. and she say, oh, you smell like you sex. Know, I smell like sex. I've been you working know what all day. Smell like working Your all Honor. day. Working all day. It's a difference day. between sweat oh, okay. and sex. So the bottom line is you that felt... That cheated. That's the bottom Like line. he had been cheating. Yes. And then what happened? We get into a big argument. Uh, I put him out. Because I know what I smell. I don't care what he's talking about. I know what I smell. I'm gonna leave my nose over his lies any day. So after he cheated on me, I called my friend so we can go out and I can have some drinks and I can try to get over him. We were out partying, drinking, and everything. And um, some guys were buying me drinks, buying her drinks. So I about your drink, eventually, huh? yes. Mm -hmm. So eventually, we end up going to the room or whatever. And, you know, my friends were off doing their own thing. You know, I was drunk and I kind of felt, you know, pressure even more because they were all doing what they were doing. So I went on ahead and did it, but I used the condom for sure. I used the condom. It's no, you know, down my mind. I know I used the condom. So you admit to cheating. I don't feel like I was cheating because he cheated on me. So it was sexual intercourse. It's cheating. Cheating okay, is cheating when we were together. Were you still in the relationship or you had broken up? I felt like we was broken up. You he stayed like... together. Okay, so bottom line is you slept with somebody else. Yes. Yes. And you say you used a condom, though. I did use a condom. Yeah. Now, how did you find out that she slept with somebody else? I found out it took, it took weeks of me pressing it out of her. When, when I came home, it was just me and her there one day. I see her phone. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm a big snooper. So I grabbed a phone. I... Yes. I paid for the phone, but look, I'm a big snooper. I grabbed a phone. I don't wanna make you a I grabbed a phone. I looked through it. I see her hugged up with a guy. Some Gucci man looking guy. 
I don't even black. You just hey, who is this? Oh, I confronted her okay. Who is this? Who is this Gucci man looking guy? Who is this? You wouldn't have found the picture. Who is this? You wouldn't have found the picture. See that right there? You sneaky. So wait a minute. You said you. Were, you considered yourself to be broken up at the time. Yes. But you said you guys were at home, so you yeah, still lived still together? There. Still, still there. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Still but, lived together. But we were separate because he cheated on me, so I didn't want to be I never cheated. There. You assumed you, I cheated. You did cheat. You cheated and got caught red-handed. <gasps> I never cheated. When did she come clean? She came clean. It took weeks. It took weeks for her to actually You come just kept clean. asking her over and over asking, again. I kept asking her. It, it was several you, arguments. And I wore condoms. You're allergic to condoms, right? Okay, and I wore condoms. But you're allergic to know, it? But I didn't know him. But you, so you're going to eat some but food that you're allergic to it. But, but you I didn't know him. him. You ain't know him. So wait a minute. Mr. Fernandez, to it. you're saying Ms. Butler is allergic to... She's allergic to condoms, Your Honor. We never use them. I, I wasn't even aware of this because so we never use condoms. So to the, to the latex material. To the latex material. Okay. So now, Ms. Butler? Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you or are you not allergic to latex? Are you? <laughs> no. So I'm you're not. not? No. No, she's not. She just said she Recent, was allergic. Oh, so that was a lie. That's why we hear you, Your Honor, because she's a liar. No. She's a liar. I'm not a liar. I, 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 I use the condom. That's my daughter. I use the condom and... So hold on. When... First of all, so you're not actually allergic to latex? No, I'm not. That's just something you told him? Yes. Why? Because you wanted to sleep with him without protection. Yes. Well, so you trapped me. So she was trying to trap me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Ms. Butler, you said you did use a condom with this new guy. Yes. So obviously there was no allergic reaction because you're not really allergic. Right. Your Honor, she's crazy. We, Your Honor, no. she's crazy. <laughs> Flat out, she's I, crazy. Well, you yeah, lived with her and you yeah, were married. Exactly. I, so he's crazy, I, I, I too. I delivered her, but, but, but... So you must like a little crazy. A little, a little, a little bit. Listen, I want... Right, exactly. I want, um... Your Honor, I have the calendar... I have the calendar bit. to prove when... With the dates of conception to prove my... This is my evidence I'd like to, to see that evidence, Miss Butler. Drew, when me and him had sex... Please? We had sex that whole week. So this calendar represents the dates you were intimate with the plaintiff. Yes. All right, so you were intimate with Mr. Fernandez on the 1st. Yes. The 31st, the 1st. Then we got into it. He cheated on me on the 2nd. He came so, up with like sex, and then I went out with my friend and did what I did. So now, you submitted this calendar to prove that you were intimate with the plaintiff on the 1st, Pretty much that whole week. That whole the first, week, yes. The sixth, the seventh, and the eighth. Yes. Which is during the window of conception. Yes, Your Honor. When were you intimate with the other guy when you all fell out? Like January fifth. Well, that's the same week. Same week. But he cheated on me same on January second. That's easy to see. Either man could be but the father. No, because I wore a condom. I wore a condom. But you're allergic know. to condoms, Your Honor. <sighs> you that. keep saying that, but I'm not. The baby looks just like him, Well, you do like understand him, in terms the baby of his looks doubt. exactly but like But, Ms. Fernandez, though. you do understand. Now, you just admitted in open court that you lied about being allergic to condoms. So, yes, if he Honor. came here thinking you were lying, you've now pretty much proven that you were lying at least about that. So, he now, of course, questions whether you wore the condom at all. But the baby looks just like him. I also so have cute. evidence. I want to submit pictures when I was a newborn and her as a newborn at the time that I felt we looked alike. All right. Y'all look alike which, right now. Which, what do you okay, mean? Do you have those her. photos? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Mr. Fernandez is a child and Devon is a baby. And you say there's no resemblance. But as she got older, Look at the Your eyebrows. Look, she, look at she, the eyes. Look Your, at the nose. Your Honor, as look she got older, lips. as she got older, the baby don't look like me. She she looks like Gucci Man. No, she don't. She looked like the guy that was in that picture. She that still looks like you. With. I don't see this it. I don't see it. Look around the eyes, the nose, Your Honor. She doesn't look like me. Because she's smiling. Like me. Because she's smiling, uh, you mean mugging. What no, you mean? No, no, that's the only mugging. difference. I feel there's no resemblance, Your Honor. And she, she, she resembles blind. that guy that was in the picture he that blind. she plugged up with. That's who she resembles. He blind. To me. He she told me the baby. the baby. She told me the baby one. So, and you... Because you always say it's not yours. No, so, oh, hold on. We got no, let, let, let me get to that testimony. Oh. What did she say? She say, uh... When the baby will, will, did get conceived... Okay, because here, you we was always thought in my face... We had an argument. I went to uh, take the daughter off. I'm gone. I'm going to so not your baby one day, anyway. That's so not your baby. So, first one day, I'm going to say, what? yeah, it's Gucci Man oh, no. baby, because that's what you mean, it's not my baby. Don't nobody want to keep hearing that. I don't want to keep hearing this Gucci Man baby. So, of course, I'm going to say, yeah, it's not your baby. So, Ms. Butler, you do understand now. Once you say that to a man, you can't unring that bell. 
But so, especially if it's but, already ringing in his head. I understand, yes, Your Honor, right. but you still can't. So I they can just say it. whatever they want to say to us, and we not supposed. We just supposed to well, let our feelings keep getting well, hurt. Well, no, no, when no. When he keep on denying the baby, I'm not supposed to be able to say anything. No, no, I'm no, no, to no, take no, 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 no. Listen to me. I can understand that maybe your feelings were hurt. Right. And in an argument, he probably said things to hurt you. Yeah, he said. And you were trying stuff. to say things to hurt him. I heard him back. Exactly. However. You have to understand that you tell a man that a child that you believe is his is not his, you don't just hurt his feelings, you hurting your child. And I need my $300 back. Oh, uh, you're not... That, how you gonna get $300 for a ring that was mine? That's my mine. Ring. My ring. You gave it to me. You put on my finger. But that was, that was oh, a part was of us, mine. our bond, our relationship. Okay. But you cheated. So you how broke you gonna, all that. So you broke how you all gonna that. take it back? You pondered. That's your loss. That's your fault. You should be paying me for the ring that you took from me. My ring. Period. It's All my right. ring. But Once still... you came back home, did you two decide, okay, we're just gonna be a family, put the past behind us? That's what he, we were supposed we to were do. We were supposed to do, Did day. you accept Divine? Like, you know, every say, day. you know, this is, this is my baby, the baby that was coming. You said, okay, I, I'm, I'm in. This is my child. I believe you. He, it's over. He act like he yes. was going to. I did all that, Your Honor. I cut the baby, the baby cord. I cut the yeah. baby cord. That's what I'm getting to. So and now all, all you, you were at doctor's appointments and all you that. showed up to the hospital. All of that, Your Honor. You cut the cord. Yep. Yes, I did. Signed the birth certificate, Signed everything. Birth certificate, then wait everything. till she get a little bigger and oh, or every time he get mad, now nah, it's not my baby. Now nah, it's not my baby. And so uh, the doubts... man baby. Wait, wait. So when this happened and you're there for the birth and you're participating, mm -hmm. you don't have doubts then. I, I still had doubts, Sean. still has doubts. We argue had, every I, I, day. I still had doubts, Sean. Let argument. me talk. Can I talk? No. John, too, can I talk? Let can me I talk. talk. You've been talking. Your Honor, I, had, I still had doubts, but I, I, she was just beautiful to me. Still is, you know? And okay. I love her. I do love her. Because she's your baby. You know? and, and, she looks just I, like you. That's common sense. All right. She did when she first That's came. That's common sense. She did when she first came. When she first came out, she did look like me. Oh, so, 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 but your father was running around. He he was in and out your life, so you doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. My dad did the same thing to me, in and out. I'm and a... then also, I had uh, my other son, you know, I had went through this same thing. And it, I just can't do it anymore. I'm not trying to keep on going through this, you know, I, I want to nip it in the bud, because she getting older and she's starting to hear the arguments of him every oh, time no. we get into it. But That's not my baby. That's Gucci Man, it. baby. That's his favorite lie. That's all I hear. Uh, it's Gucci Man, baby. She I don't know like Gucci guy. Man. She look like the That's guy that was him. in the picture. No. So the truth exactly is, like Mr. Him. Fernandez, you're exactly. back at home, but you got one foot in the door and one foot out. Yes, yes I was. And, and, and then he leave yes. and go with other little girls and, you know... So this is affecting break. your relationship Everything. has torn apart your engagement. Yes. And your whole it, family's it, 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 on the line. Apart, Your Honor. I still try to be close and, and bond with the baby. I got her name tattooed on me. You know, I... I so you I have to you you stand offish, though. Every time you get an attitude no. or think I'm doing something... I get something, attitude, it's, it's, it's you. It's towards through. you. That's my baby. Uh, That's I my know. Baby. That's what I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm I hoping. know. I'm hoping. You act like you don't know, but I know. Why well, don't I know? I know for sure. That's what you did. So, Mr. Fernandez, me. let me ask you this. If the DNA evidence proves that Divine is not your biological daughter... Uh -huh. Where will you go from here? Can you stick this out? Can no, you still be a no, family? It's not sticking this out, Your Honor. The, these results is, is, is impacting everything. Her life, my life, our relationship, everything. My so, other so, kids' so, life, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. So, no, I'm gone. Look at if him. that's not my they baby, I'm gone. Like Ms. Butler, you, you look like you're almost in tears. I can tell this really hurts. Yes. You. Fake tears. You talked about your not life. fake tears. You talked about the fact that it's happened to you before, yes. and the fact that your father was not around, and you don't want this for your little No, kid. I don't want that for none of my kids. That is his baby, and he, he gonna see, and that way we can move forward and maybe even still get married or anything, because I want my family. Mary. That's why I've been fighting Mary. so hard for it. So you do because... want... Your hope is that this will help mend... Our relationship. Your relationship, and you want your family. Yes. I love my family. I love him. Even though all the ups and downs, he always been there for me. You know what I'm saying? He is a good dad. He's a great dad. That's why it would it, I, it would kill me if he wasn't. But I know for a fact that she is. I don't believe it. There's no question in my mind how much you want this to be Mr. Fernandez's child. And there's no question in my mind how much you want your family to stay together. But I do have to ask, you do understand how a man would live and wrestle with I understand, Your Honor. This understand. over and over again in his mind and then have to just rely on you saying, well, we used a condom. Any person would be wondering, well, did she really? You know? Yes, Your Honor. 
And Mr. Fernandez, I can see as I look at you that this bothers you. Yes, it bothers me a lot, Your Honor. Yes. Every day I think about it. From work, home, to everywhere, I just think about it. It's on my mind. I love her. I do love that little girl, you know? Good. I just, I just need to know, though. I need to know. Well, that's why we're here, and I have those results for you. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Fernandez v. Butler, when it comes to two-year-old Divine Butler, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Fernandez, when it comes to two-year-old Divine Butler, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Fernandez, You are her father. Uh, I told you. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm uh, talking about. What do you mean? Oh, what do you look at her? Do you oh, see her? Do you see her? Do you see her? Do you see her? Look uh, at her. All this time. All this time you've been doing that. Wow. All this time. I told you that's your baby. Come here, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you hear me? I'm sorry, you hear me? Yeah. Listen to me, right? I love you, babe. You hear me? I just want the whole world to see how much I love you. Will you marry me? Yes. I love you, baby. That's wonderful. Wow. Thank you, Your Honor. Where's oh. my baby at? Oh, where's the baby <laughs> at all? So, Mr. Fernandez, I can see in your eyes this has been an emotional day. Right. I do have to ask you about your suit. You've now proposed and given yet another ring. <laughs> and you came here asking for $300 <laughs> from I still your want, other I ring. Still, I, I still want my 300 <laughs> I'm playing, baby. <laughs> I'm playing with you, baby. She good, Your Honor. I, I, okay, so is it safe to say you would like to withdraw your suit? Yes, I do. Mr. Hammond, you are here in court desperate for DNA results. You say the defendant went behind your back and opened a child support case, claiming you are the father of her four-month-old daughter, Niasia. You're hoping today's results will prove you are not the biological father before the child support order goes into effect. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. James, you say Mr. Hammond is your daughter's father and you are adamant today's results will prove it. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Hammond, you were recently served child support papers? Yeah, well, I got the papers right here. Let me I see that the... evidence, Jerome. Proof the... You are submitting into evidence the paperwork you received. Right, Explain right. to the court what this is. Okay, well, on the paperwork, it lists me as the father. Dear Christopher Hammond, Regine James has asked us to open or reopen a child support case for the child listed above. Right. Okay. And so, when you got that paperwork, what were you thinking? I'm like, man, I need a DNA test. Straight up. So, Mr. Hammond, take me to the nature of your relationship. How did you all meet? Okay, I dated her f for a couple years. I moved away for like four. And that, during that time, I had a relationship with Miss Kiera. So, uh, you know, me and her was kind of rocky at the time. That's when I reconnected with Miss James. So you were doing a back and forth, but at some point, <laughs> ended up dating both of these women at the same time. Like I said, you know... Like I said. Both of them... <laughs> both of them knew. Both of them... Well, she didn't he know, He actually but said she that, knew. um, he's keeping her under, um, he didn't want her to know because he was just getting money from her. Mm. Oh! Yeah, that's he, what I told her. He said her. that's how he got his truck. That's what his I told her because, got. like I said, I was back and forth. This is my girl. You, just like you got your baby daddy. He's a liar, though. That's he, it. She got a dude. He dude, lied about And everything. I had a woman. So he, we just he lied about everything. Just he said, like that. He said... Oh, so the, the point... Is it your position, Mr. Hammond, that both women were aware that you were sleeping with them at the same exact time and they were comfortable with that? Kier wasn't Keep aware. Keep it 100, as you would say. 100. Kier was aware. 
wasn't aware, she was. I was aware? You feel me? Okay. So, what you're saying is Miss, Miss James bought into the arrangement. Right. So, Miss James, is that your... Actually, when he told me he was gonna get money from her, I said, go ahead, I'm not gonna give you my money. You need to find a job or something. I'm not gonna take care of a grown man. Right. And she could do it. I'm not gonna do it. But you were still having sex with him. We were. He and was so always at, at my house. He was always at your yeah, house? he was. So, right before Niaja was conceived, you all weren't in a, in a real relationship. No. But you were having sex. Right. At that time, um, she got pregnant in March. So, um... Who did? She has a, a baby by him already. Aww. I got pregnant in August. She got pregnant in March. You were both pregnant at the same, same time. time. Right. While this young woman was pregnant with your child... Right. And I you were found... still having sex with Miss James. Yeah, of course. That's what I said. <laughs> well, we all know that because they're, you know, kind of close. So, that's why I said, of course, because it, it's close. But what I'm saying is, you know... Let's get back on topic. She called me and told me <laughs> that she was pregnant, right? When she... I found out from someone else, and then we met and talked about it. That's when she said, you know, she don't want nothing to do with it. Or she, she don't want me, you know what I'm saying, in her baby's life because I wasn't the father. That's, that's what she that's told me. That's a lie. Actually, we met... Um, I was at work, and um, we had met, and oh, um, sat down, and he was telling me how he's so sorry that he did it or whatever. He shouldn't have got her pregnant. This is the truth. And um, he was just telling me, like, he messed up, and he's like, I have, um, I have a plan or something, I guess, to take... I don't know. Wait, Hold on one second. Right. Stop whispering things over to your girlfriend. Let's stay on topic. Yeah. Okay. Well, we okay. Let's 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 be on topic. Cause we okay, topic. let's be on topic. Right. Cause see, I know the plot of distraction. Right. Don't distract her from hearing the testimony that Miss James is gonna tell right. about what you were talking about to her right. when she was already pregnant right. and the way you was lying back and forth so right. that you could keep having sex with two women and right. then get two women pregnant potentially at the same right. time. So, let's stay on that topic. Right. Okay, keep going with your topic. So, we actually had met up. I was at work, and he was like, I want to see you. So, I, um, on my break, I only had 10 minutes. I said, you got 10 minutes to tell me what you want to say, because I don't want to hear it. So, um, we met up, and he, it wasn't even about the baby, honestly. He was, um, like, talking about how he should have never, you know, had sex with her and lied about everything he lied about. And, um... Were you pregnant at the time I he had this conversation? At the time, yeah. How did you tell him? I actually text him, and then um, a family member called me and was like, are you sure, you know, that's his baby? And I was like, no, I'm not sure, because I honestly had sex with another man earlier that day. Oh! Earlier than what? That day, and he knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was on my birthday, actually. <laughs> yeah. And we had sex three times. When I, I spent the night at his house, went to work from his house the next day. Whose house? Mr. Hammond's? Yes. So, you saying you had sex with another man and had sex yeah. with Mr. Hammond on the same day because yes. you know it's because it's your birthday. Right. <laughs> you actually submitted a Birth calendar girl. to the court <laughs> and we need to review this. So, August 6th, <laughs> in the morning, you have sex with another man. Right. And then, by 5 o'clock, you're having sex well, with Mr. I Hammond? Actually, um, he called me later on that night and we had sex three times. Back to back. And all of this sex was unprotected? All of it. Oh. Even with the other man? Yes, it was. So, you know you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, on this calendar that was submitted to the court, Nyjah's birthday is May 6th. When you went to the doctor for your checkup, they gave you a conception date of August 6th, which was the actual day right. you had had sex with two different men. Right. So, if you did and there is another man that you had sex with, how are you so certain it's Mr. Hammond's um, baby? It's really now... We had a 50-50 split right, right now. He's old, really old. So, I think that his chances of, like, having kids, his sperm is not strong, I Oh, the, uh, the other man is an older man. Yeah, older man. How old? 60. Oh! <laughs> 60. You're on as my grandmother would say, well, Your Honor. I declare. <laughs> Your Honor, I don't think I'm the father. That's just... Well, that, that's just real. She had sex too. with we him still... first, well, and then she's were... still and with the old dude. You no, had I'm sex not. with him after that. So, how, how am I the father? 
Is this the only day you were intimate with her, Mr. Hammond? No, it wasn't. What is going on know. here? Are you know. engaged How to be yeah, married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly? Engaged. Since when? Since uh, when? Uh, last year. What kind of engagement is this? I'd like to hear from your fiance. Yeah, Ma'am, please yeah. stand up. Stand yeah, up. Stand yeah, up. State your yeah, name for the record. Kiara Johnson. And you are Mr. Hammond's fiance? Yes. You tell me what kind of engagement this is. Well, first off, she's always known about me. She is the one who um, texted me oh. every single time that he supposedly talked to her. And you are comfortable with times. just three months before... I am before... not comfortable with what is going on, and he knows that. Do you feel like it's going to end? Hopefully. I'm pretty pretty certain that he is not messing with her anymore. I... <laughs> it's almost... as if I can't believe this. <laughs> So, in the monitor, we see Mr. Hammond's son that would be with Ms. Johnson. Right. And then, on the right, is Mr. Hammond's potential daughter with Ms. James. She doesn't look nothing like my son. She looks son. like me. She looks exactly like me. My so son looks like her, too, but got if, a lot of my features If you want to see my son. Okay, that's fine. A picture is worth a thousand words. Yeah. Because just looking at this picture... It just dawned upon, I think, everyone in the gallery how sad this is. It is a sad case, because these are children. They do not deserve this back-and-forth problem, and I wouldn't have been a part of it if I knew that they were sleeping together when I got pregnant. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she didn't... But she was still a part of it. No, 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 no. Ms. Johnson, but you're still a part of it when you know that he's sleeping with her while you're engaged. And we will deal with that when we go home. Oh, so you didn't know this? She's a... I did not know that. Know. You just she found this out sitting dominant. in this witness chair? Oh, uh, yeah. It's not funny. It's not. <laughs> it is. He calls me when... Okay. We... So yeah, he calls, he you calls me when he wants to yeah, see me. And I, I, yeah, I, I go call, see him. Okay. And you just number. come running, yeah, but... Yeah, she never had my number. So no, but you're sleeping you? with this older man that has other kids that don't want to even take care of your baby and you're upset and how you want to blame know? it on him. See, I'm she's listening. delusional. How do nope. you know all this? Stuff? <laughs> it's around the grapevine, you know? just like you how? doing how? all this other stuff with the many, many people. How do you know? go pop the popcorn. Please. Please, I want to know, too. Go ahead, go ahead. What else? What else? I had to see that one. What else? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <It's a mess. laughs> I ain't got because else to when say. I, I found, when she when I texted her on some woman level and I asked her, "Is that Chris's baby?" She said, "No, that's not his baby. I don't want nothing to do with you guys, and uh, you guys could have a happy life, and I have nothing else to say to you I guys." I did tell her that. She I did, did tell say her that, that and we why blocked is, each other. Why is it any of her business? Period. Like, uh, my baby, I'm the Tim, he don't have nothing to do. <laughs> it is my not. business. Hey, let's get some order. I'm done with yeah. this. Y'all doing a whole bunch of nothing. Man. Um, so listen. Do you have a relationship with Niaja, Mr. Hammond? No. Oh, you've never seen her? No. He said he's not gonna do anything for her until he finds out if he's the father or not. So you weren't there for the birth? No. You didn't even show up no. for doctor's appointment? But the other guy was there. And so you're saying that's true? Yes. Does the older guy think Niaja's his daughter? Well, he don't care. He said he's gonna take care of her regardless. But does he think... He's her father. Have you told him he was? Okay, no, I, I see didn't that him... smile. No. <laughs> no, What's the thing mean? is, like, I, I told both of them. You know, I, I told him when I found out I was pregnant. Like, I... I but you're to... opening up a child support case against Mr. Hammond. If the other guy already said he gonna take care of her and he's obviously got the money to do it, why didn't you put him on the child support papers? Or sign the birth certificate. Well, my thing is, I just want to, um, just try to eliminate him, see if he's dad or not. If not, then obviously the other guy... Oh, you're doing process of elimination. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I don't know why. I'm gonna okay. It's either you do or you don't, because you stay I going back to him. So, so, supposedly you I want don't. him. If I call I you, you him. gonna come running. I don't call you no more. I'll come to my house. Johnson, stop. I can't live, let you live in this nonsense. Like, you just... You're working this up. Stop yourself. You talking about it's obvious she wants him. It's obvious your fiance wants her. Stop Good. the nonsense. He pulled... Right. It's here. It's here. <laughs> the train done pulled into the station. He actually told me... It doesn't, call, he actually told me it don't so have to it, be two it, years. And you call easy. it. Yeah, this because is it's my easy. Point. And this is what I'm saying to you. I am not gonna be able to change this dynamic between the two of you. Right. I can't change that. Right. It's a chemistry I don't even think you guys understand. <laughs> really. Because you keep calling, she keeps coming, y'all arguing, but y'all still having sex. 
Only thing I can do is to say to this young woman, I hope you're watching this. You all are in a cycle that neither one of you are committed to breaking. I can see the exchange in the courtroom. And I've allowed this to play out. And God bless you, Ms. Johnson. You just over there. Man. No, really, really. No, you the just cycle need a capital D for denial for sure, on your did. chest. It's gonna be you broken. are in denial. This thing is happening. And the reason why he gets to be with you two, because you get yourself so worked up that it's all gonna be Miss James' fault, and she wants him, and she's doing this. But at the end of the day, this is very real. You've got to make a decision as to whether or not this is what you want your life to be. Well, that's fine. And you have to think about that. <laughs> Moving forward, I don't know what that envelope says. I don't know if he is or if he is not Niaja's biological father. But what I would bet my bottom dollar is, is she gonna go back over to his mama's house and he gonna meet her there. <laughs> Give me the envelope. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hammond versus James, when it comes to five-month-old Niasia James, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Hammond, you are not the father. Okay. That's fine. You are not the father. I'm just glad we just got it out the way. All right. Now that we have the truth, we always talk about in this courtroom, we get one level of truth and then we seek a next level of truth. I said it before I opened the envelope and I know it to be true. This isn't over between the two of you. It's okay. over with. But, I don't know what to tell you, hey, but listen, I know it's listen, over. Listen, it could be. It could be. But what right. I want to say to you is, if you allow the same patterns to occur, right. it won't end. Right. Right? Right. And there is a part of that that should be very, very, very concerning for you, Ms. Johnson. There is something that he has for this girl that he has not cut off yet. And I would just caution you to think about that. This is what an engagement phase is for. You can't be pointing across the aisle about what Miss James is doing and what Miss James said and what Miss James, right? Because your real problem's in the bed next to you. 